Hey guys, uh, Chris Rutz here, and what we're going to talk about today is probably one of my favorite subjects because I get this question asked a lot. You know, when you first get into a business, what do we do? What do we start off to do? How do we start generating traffic? All this good stuff. Well, the most important thing that you can have in a business is what's called a capture page or also known as a squeeze page. And it's just a page that basically gives a little bit about information about what you're trying to promote. Doesn't give anything away, just kind of creates the curiosity enough that someone will leave their name and email and submit that to an autoresponder. And I'm not going to do any training on autoresponders, but what I use is called AWeber. And what the autoresponder is, is just something that would capture the emails where you can send broadcast emails to a team and also have a follow-up email or, or maybe a newsletter or something that would be submitted to your subscribers on a given period of time that you determine. It can be every day, every other day, you know, every three days, whatever. And it sends those messages out for you. But the main thing you want to do here is capture a name and an email because the money is in the list. And once you start building your list and they start to trust you, you really can make a lot of money that way. But how do we build a site? You know, there's, there's several ways you can hire someone to build a site. And I'm just talking about a, a, just a simple, clean uh, capture page. Or you can design one yourself, go get books on HTML coding, go buy a hosting account, go get an HTML editor, do all that good stuff and all that fancy stuff. Like I do. That's, that's the road I've went. Um, that's a lot of work. Or I'm going to show you what we're going to talk about today, how to make a free capture page using Blogger, www.blogger.com. It's, it's the blog um, website for Google. And what you're looking at right here is just a simple site that I put together real quick to advertise one of my sites when people join my internet marketing system. I do it at Craigslist training. So this is kind of what I've used. And um, it looks professional. It doesn't even look like a blog. This is literally a blog though, guys. Um, I have my AWeber responder here, so where you put your information at. They can even scroll down and pick where they saw my art, my ads at, and they click submit. When you click submit, it takes them to the main website. But I mean, you can put videos in there, you can format text, you know, a little bit of history, a little bit of this and that. And that's, you know, pretty professional, clean looking capture page for free. Absolutely free. Now, let's go ahead and build this exact site I built here from scratch and you guys can see how it works. So the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is obviously get a Gmail account. A Gmail account is what will be used here. It's the same uh, access that you would do, like if you had a Gmail account, put that here. Or create an account from right out of here, but it's still a Gmail account. So we're just gonna go into the one I created yesterday for my training class I did. And it's gonna redirect me so that you're gonna log in, okay? So the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to create a blog. Okay, that's exactly what we're gonna do. And so we'll make a title. I'm gonna call this um, blog capture page train. Okay, and then obviously you're gonna pick a, this is just a, a URL here, you decide what it is. This is going to be the URL that you advertise for this capture page to come out on. So I'm just going to say, um, again, capture page train. No big deal. So check availability. It's available. Go ahead, put the capture code in. And away we go. Okay, so now that you've gotten this far, the first thing we're going to do, you're going to see this first page pop up. It's going to have a bunch of templates here, right? Okay. We'll. Just for now, we're going to pick the first one. We're going to change this later, and I'll tell you why. But just keep it checked. Don't do nothing. By default, that's already checked. So hit continue. So now we've created it. We've created our layout. Well, we've picked our layout, and now we're going to go ahead and start blogging. So the very first thing we're going to do now is we're going to change that template. So I'm going to go to layout, and we're going to pick a new template. Very first thing. And the one I like to use is this one here called Denim. And the reason why I like this is because when you put a header in there, and I'm gonna show you why, the header on the old one can only be as big as that border, okay? When you put a header here, you've got the full length of the page, which is really nice. You get a bigger header, you're not so, it's not so cramped to be a smaller spot. So this, I've tested them all out. This to me seems to be most professional and it seems to work the best for what we're trying to accomplish here. And of course, you can pick any one you want, but that's just the one I picked. So I go ahead and save template. All right, now the first thing we're going to do is go back to, we're, going to, we're still in the layout tab. The template has been saved. 
Let's go to page elements. This is where we're going to set up basically the outline of our website. Okay, and since this is a blog, these are blog things. We don't need them. We're not we're not creating a real blog, so we don't need this stuff. So take the stuff out of there. You don't want it there. If it was there, it wouldn't look a, wouldn't look like a website. Blog archives. Well, we're not gonna have any blogs to archive. So see ya. It's gone. Okay. And then uh, now we just start working. So blog post again. We're gonna edit the blog post now. And we don't need any of this stuff. Get rid of all of it because this stuff will appear on your website if you keep it checked. And we don't want that. And I dropped this down to one. I don't know if that makes a difference, but to me, when it says number of posts on main page, I only want one post, which is my web content, to be a viewable on or viewed on that one on the page. So I always keep it one. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but I do that. So, and I haven't had a problem. Okay, now we've got all that done. Now this is where it, you're going to have to look for additional trainings, or you can um, we'll we'll have additional trainings out for this. But if you don't understand Aweber, don't worry about that right now. You can find training on Aweber, but you have to get your Aweber or so I use Aweber for my autoresponder. There's there's others out there, but right now all I can do is just talk about Aweber since that's what I use. I've never had a problem with that. So click on the add page element where I just clicked at and then scroll down to where you see HTML JavaScript right here. Okay, this is going to be an element that's going to allow us to put um, JavaScript and HTML into. So we're gonna say that for now. Okay, we need to do a Put the information here, I put a little head here. So what I do now is I go to my Aweber account. I log into my Aweber. And once you get in, uh, I got my backup there. So we go to list settings, web forms. And when you create a web form, what you can do here is you go to get HTML. And if you don't know how to do this at this point, if I'm already way beyond what you'd understand, just um, Follow me here. You can find there's a bunch of training online out there. Just Google, you know, Aweber, or even go to Aweber. They got training sites and all that, all this stuff here. So I went ahead and I copy the HTML code out of there. And we're gonna go ahead. Uh, now that you got the code, we're gonna add that to. You know, I was a little ahead of myself, like I said. Go ahead, create an HTML page element, and we're just going to right-click, paste right in there, and then hit save. So now we're going to view what we just did. So if I go to view blog, you can see right here that now I have that box there that's going to be able to create, to capture people's emails and names and phone numbers. So we're, we're good there. So let's close that out. Now let's go ahead and put a header. Um, this can be a simple header. This is going to be a top of your uh, website. You can put, you know, text in there. You can put a graph, you know, whatever. I like to do graphics. If you know anything about uh, Photoshop or Paint Shop or some kind of paint uh, graphic program, that's probably the best thing to do because uh, it just looks a lot better. So I go shrink to fit because you're only allowed 760 pixels wide, and then I put I click instead of title and description because I want my header to be the whole title. That, you know what they're looking for. So and I saved it as a JPEG file. And so when I go ahead and put that in there, you're going to see the header pop up, and that's my header. So we're going to click save. So absolutely, so far, absolutely no HTML code. So let's preview. And what we've created so far, a nice looking header and a capture box. Okay, so it's starting to get close. It's starting to look, starting, you're starting to see a website coming out of this now. So let's close it out. And that's all for now we need to do on this page right here. Um, or on this page element. Real quick, just to fancy up our site a little bit, I'd like to go to fonts and colors. Okay, and here's where you can change the font and color of your website. And I, I don't particularly like the blue on gray, so I just change that. And where you can change those colors at is right here. And right here is a page header corners. That's the, that's this blue here. I like to put it black, kind of cool. And then page header background color, I also make black. And page background. So now everything's all black. I like that. So we're going to save changes. Save changes. View blog. And that's the basic layout. All right. Next video, we're going to talk about how to add content and a few more things we can add to this to start making it look more and more like a um, website. But for now, that is the basics, what we do to create our layout. I will see you on the next video.